Hello and welcome to our Being an Acting for Film Student webinar. My name is Marcus and I work for the student recruitment team at Chichester University. And today I'm joined by Katie, who is an Acting for Film student. So straight into it, uh, with research in universities, what steps did you take before joining university? Um, I think UCAS was definitely the biggest thing. It's, it's really helpful because it gives a lot of information about the course specifically. I definitely looked at not only UCAS though, but also at the actual university, like on their website, at their campuses and at the city as well, because I think it's really important that you um, look into what city you're going to be living in, because you're going to be there for three years. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was definitely the main thing, looking through UCAS, looking at the kind of individual parts of the course, and if I thought I'd enjoy it. Um, open days as well, they were definitely a big thing, because um, I think they're good for getting like a general sort of vibe of the place you're going to be studying at. You get to meet the lectures, lecturers. Um, so yeah, that was definitely most things I did, I think. Cool. And how did you feel about going to university? It was a mix of a couple of things. I was definitely nervous. I think like most people are, I was nervous about moving away from home, meeting new people. Um, but I was excited. I think when it was kind of getting to the end of sixth form, I felt ready to sort of leave and start a new chapter so I was yeah I was really excited to start I think and do something that I knew I'd love to do every day um yeah yeah I was it was a mix of things but um it, it yeah nervous and excited <laughs> perfect um and if you were to have one top tip for any student that's looking to start university what would that be um go to open days I'd say I mean I, I appreciate that we're quite far down south here, so um, it could be hard to get to, but there's virtual open days as well. So I definitely do that because, like I was saying, it it gives a really good impression of what the uni's like, what everyone the work says like. Um, and also the students as well, you get to meet students um, and get their kind of honest opinions on it. So yeah, definitely open days. Perfect, cool. Um, and that leads on nicely to some of the tips that we at Chichester have for, for students. So like Katie just said, visiting universities on open days is really important. Um, as well as that, universities will run things like campus tours, taster sessions and applicant days throughout the year as well. And they're really good opportunities for students to get to meet lecturers and current students. Um, and just learn a little bit more about the course that they might not be able to learn online through the website or UCAS. Um, another big tip is to test run that journey from university to home, especially if you're a student who is going to want to be going home at things like Christmas and Easter. Um, you need to make sure that that journey is feasible for you. And on top of that, visiting the local area before you start a university. Like Katie said, if you are in a full undergrad course, that is three years of your life. So you want to be in an area where you feel comfortable and you know there's enough stuff for you to do throughout those three years. And probably the biggest tip that we have is to ask questions. So on these open days and applicant days and things like that, asking as many questions as possible um because these these are really good opportunities for you to get to know a lot of information about the course and what that will do is that will help squash any concerns that you might have about starting university or the course itself so um that leads into the getting started part of this webinar so what was your first week at university like it was good i mean freshers week's always pretty um manic but it's it's really fun because you're getting a good impression of not only the course, but also what student life is going to be like. You know, you meet all your flatmates um, and I'm really lucky. I've got lovely flatmates um, and I'm, I'm living in accommodation that I really like. So that was nice. Um, and then, you know, going out was always fun, seeing like the student union, meeting people there. You know, there's like a lot of open parties and stuff like that, like um, open week parties. So it's nice to 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 get an impression of what the next three years is going to be like and then the course was good it was um the introduction week was it was mainly focused on like meeting tutors um which was nice because i think you know acting courses can be quite full on so mm. it was kind of nice to um you know meet the people you're going to be with 
meet the people that are going to be teaching you and also we start filming and doing kind of the stuff we're going to be doing on the course in the first week so it was a nice impression into um uni life i definitely felt a lot more comfortable after it nice um and how did you find settling in during that first week it was definitely easier than I thought. I think everyone thinks that the first week's going to be sort of, you know, you're going to be getting really homesick and you're going to feel really sort of like like a fish out of water, really. But that definitely wasn't the case. I think Chichester itself is a really lovely place to be. Um, and like I said, I have lovely flatmates. And yeah, I think I felt, felt really comfortable sort of from the onset, really. Um, I mean, there's always sort of difficult parts when you sort of miss you know your parents or siblings or being away from home but I mean there's so much going on in the first week that you do kind of um, get so caught up in uni life you kind of you know start to really feel like you're fitting in um, yeah 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 definitely um, and if you were to compare your normal week now to um, to that sort of induction week what would your typical week look like at the moment so I usually have about three or four hours a day, usually sort of two two classes, mostly practical. Um, so within this course, there's kind of like three elements to it. So you've got your screen acting skills, which is your, you know, you get in, you're in front of the camera, you're doing stuff, you're doing script work or you're doing sort of improvisation, working with people. Um, and then we do spotlight skills as well, which is um, like certain skills that can kind of help you in the future when you enter the industry. So like I do period dance, but you can do really cool stuff like street fighting, horse riding, acting through song. Um, so everyone does one of those a week and then accents as well. That's another spotlight skill. And then a lecture as well, um, which is kind of about getting you ready for life after uni life in the industry. Cool. So what was your sort of biggest concern about coming to university? Um, I think all the ones on the screen really sum it up. I think making new friends was was a really big one because I didn't know anyone before moving up here. No one even really knew where Chichester was, to be honest. So um, it was it was quite nerve wracking. I think everyone feels like that. They want to make sure they're with people that they you know enjoy being with. But I don't think that's as big as big of an issue as it sort of um, was. Like I I settled in really well with my flatmates. You know, we all went out together. And then meeting course mates was good. Um, I think maybe the commute to Bognor every day was a bit worrying as well, but um, that's that's definitely not an issue. The buses are really good. So yeah, I'd say they were the main two and moving away from home as well is always scary. Cool. Um, so that leads on nicely to the, to the next part. So I know you've already covered that sort of main topic about how you felt about moving away from home. Um, you're currently living in halls at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. And how do you how do you find that? How do you find living with your flatmates and the facilities and that sort of thing? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think the good thing about halls is um, you're in a place with so many other students. So there's always something going on, but obviously you've got your own room. So there's always a chance for you to like take time out if you need it. Um, halls are good as well because they're, they're not too overwhelming. I think if you moved into a house straight away, it'd be, you know, maybe a little bit, wow, I'm in uni, but um, halls are a lot more sort of relaxed. Um, there's always people on site, like there's security, there's receptions, there's people there if you need them, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I've gotten really well with my flatmates. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes it can get a bit frustrating when you're trying to sleep and they're coming back from a night out but that's just uni life you know it, it's all it's all part of the fun <laughs> so yeah I've, I've really enjoyed living in halls cool and how did you feel about having to make new friends and meet new people did you know anyone that was at Chichester or was starting Chichester at the same time as you no I didn't know anyone but um I think I think meeting new people comes really easily especially in Freshers Week because you're all out and you're all chatting to each other and then you're sort of you know in your first week on your course you're talking to everyone you find out where everyone's from what they're sort of you know what they enjoy what their hobbies are um so whilst I was nervous about it it definitely came quite easy I think there's so many opportunities to meet new people in Freshers Week and throughout the year. Nice um and during Freshers Week um <laughs> did you join any societies or clubs that we have at Chichester? Yeah, I joined Adventure Sport, which is so much fun. Um, it was it was it was really good. They did some induction sessions in Freshers and I went to one. I was like, yeah, this is definitely a society I want to join. 
And did you meet a lot of friends and sort of people with the same sort of interest there? Yeah, definitely, because um, I've always enjoyed climbing, so I knew it was something I wanted to go to, and it was nice meeting people that also enjoyed that, um, and then sort of going to socials with them now, and it's nice to, you know, get close to people like that. Cool, perfect. So in terms of the more academic aspect of this webinar, uh, what type of assessments do you have in your subjects? So there's not a lot of assessments, um, which is good. We usually have about two or three assessments at the end of each semester. So um, for this, this semester, for example, I've just done an essay, which is based on the lectures throughout the year. And then I have a practical assessment, which is very simple, really. It's just a sort of um, it's a duologue on camera kind of reflecting how it would be in the industry. And then um, at the end of next semester, we have a couple more, but they generally aren't a lot and they're quite relaxed. Cool. And how do you tend to prepare for these? Um, so for stuff like essays, I would definitely say I try and be organised. I try and plan my time um, and, you know, I plan them out and then I'll write them throughout the semester so it doesn't all really build up at the end. And then um, for the practicals, I'd say I just learn my lines, make sure I'm completely off book. I get to know my scene partner and go through it with them. Um, and just, just makes her uncomfortable with the lines and with the scene, really. Cool. Um, and do your assessments tend to be at the end of each semester? And sort of how many do you tend to have per semester? Yeah, so they're usually at the end of each semester and there's only about two or three. So they're, they're definitely not like overwhelming at all. Cool, perfect. Um, so here at Chichester, we have quite a lot of support that we offer for students. So as you can see on the screen, there's a long list of the different supports that we offer. These are all bookable through the, the CIS desk or, or online, um, and students can, can attend these sort of one-on-one -on -one meetings with, with any of those. Um, a really good one to highlight is the academic skills that we offer support for. So doing things like referencing and citations at university is something that you wouldn't have a lot of experience with doing at school or college. So being able to meet one on one with a academic skill advisor is a really good opportunity for you to get used to doing that sort of thing with your work. Um, and it will definitely help in making your sort of essays and that sort of writing a lot easier at university. So coming on towards the end of the webinar now, um, in a few words, what would you say to someone considering studying your course? I would say if it's something you love and it's something you're passionate about, do it. Um, it's such a fun course. And if acting really is something you want to pursue in the future, I think it's the perfect thing to do. Perfect. And finally, how would you sum up your time so far? amazing i've really really enjoyed it i've loved the course i've loved student life it's it's been great really yeah amazing so uh that is the end of our webinar today so thank you to katie for taking part in it thank, thank you. you to anyone that's watching and if you have any questions feel free to direct them to either of the emails that we have on screen